Hi, and thanks for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, just about anywhere we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Today's video is going to be what sold for the week of June 25th through July 1st. Let's get started. The first thing we sold was a lot of three John Grisham books. We picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar and we sold them on best offer for $12 even. The next thing was a vintage 1994 Anco wool blend snapback Dallas Cowboys baseball cap. We picked this up at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for our full asking price of $29.99. Next up was a men's apartment nine black textured stripes sports coat. This we got in the Facebook marketplace garbage bags of clothes. We paid 67 cents for each item in these bags. And this item sold for $25, which was a best offer. Next up was one of the toners from the toner liquidation that I purchased. This one was a great sale at $44.98, which was an offer to buyer. This one was a compatible toner for a Samsung Pro Express. And I paid $3.19 per toner from a guy who was liquidating some old stock from a refillable toner business that he had. Next up was a pink by Victoria's Secret, brand new with tags, leopard print V-neck women's top. We picked this up at an estate sale. We paid $4.48 for it, and it sold on offer to buyer for $19.98. Next up was a pair of men's Nike Monster Mesh shorts. We got these at a garage sale. Um, it was a bulk deal at this garage sale, so I said that I paid 72 cents for these shorts. They were in our store for a long time and had a lot of watchers, but they didn't sell. It took a long time for them to sell, but they did finally sell for $14.98 on offer to buyer. I think it was probably because they were men's small, which is not a very popular size. Next up was the rest of that Santa Anita wear mid-century modern dishes. I mentioned that we sold the dessert plate in the last what sold video, and then that buyer came back and purchased the rest of the items that we had for sale, which were, I think, um, I can't remember how many pieces it was, but it was dinner plates and salad plates. And she purchased all of the rest of the items that we had for a total of $119. So like I mentioned in the last What Sold video, it was worth the wait on not having any interest in those items because I think, you know, with stuff like this, you have to wait for the right buyer to come along and sometimes it's kind of a long tail item, but definitely worth the wait on this because we only paid $3 for these at the Goodwill outlet and having a sale for $119 as a best offer with a, was a great deal. Plus the 20 some odd dollars that we had with the Last week's sale from her, I would definitely pick these items up over and over again. Next up was a print of a cowboy painting by the artist Charles M. Russell. We have a big stack of these um, and we sell one every once in a while. We have them priced low because we have lots and we just want to get them out the door. This one sold for $11.98 on offer to buyer. Uh, we have no cost with these because it's leftover stock from the other business that we own, which is a picture, a custom picture frame shop. We did get positive feedback on this item. Next up is a country home magazine. It was the April, 2005 issue. We got this with a big lot of magazines that I got from a lady on the next door app. She was giving away a bunch of magazines, like seven boxes, and I went and picked them all up. This one sold for $7.99, which was our full asking price and we had no cost. Next up was a big framed poster. It didn't have any glass in it, but it was framed in like a wooden frame. And it was so cool and like old and vintage looking. It looked like something that you would use for a prop on Mad Men or something. It was from 1969 and it said it was the management process from the Harvard Business Journal. And it had this big chart on it that like showed the whole management process. It was just really retro and vintage looking. And so I was 
when the whole time I had probably should have put prop in the description, but I'm not sure I had room for it or maybe I didn't think about it at the time I was doing the listing. When it sold, I was thinking, man, this would be like perfect for a movie prop or a TV prop for a show that was set in that time period. But I don't think that's what it went to. We did get positive feedback on it and it sold for our full asking price of $37.99. And this is something that I found in the back storage room of the other business that we own. Who knows why we had it, if it was something that somebody left behind uh, we found it, it didn't belong to anyone, and we decided to sell it. And I knew that it, we had it in our eBay store forever. It was such a specific item, but I knew that somebody would eventually want it just for the nostalgic properties of it. It was just really cool and retro looking. Next up was a lot of three pair of Wrangler men's jean shorts. They were all the exact same style and the exact same size. We got these at a garage sale, probably not something that I would pick up, but that, that they were all the exact same style and the exact same size. So I knew that I could lock them together. Um, one of the pair had a little bit of damage on them. So I did disclose that. We paid $2.50 for all three of these at the garage sale and they sold on best offer for $40 even. Next up was the vintage 1974 Radio Shack Archer kit. It was brand new, um, old stock. It was a headset that you built from scratch. Like it was some, it was a kit that you would maybe do with your kid or something. You actually had to like solder the pieces together. The only downside to it is that there were some foam inserts that went inside the ear pieces that had disintegrated from age. So we disclosed that, um, but it sold really quickly for $30 best offer. We had paid $3.24 for it at the thrift store. My husband was there at the right time in the thrift store when they were stocking the shelves and he got this from the cart when the guy was pushing the cart out with the new merchandise. So he was just there at the right time to get this item. Uh, we did get positive feedback on this um, from the buyer. So we were, um, this was a good sale for us. Next up was a pair of girls Crocs. They had Hello Kitty on them. We got this from the same garage sale with the Wranglers jean shorts. We had picked them up because they were Crocs and they were Hello Kitty, but these were really worn and they had a lot of wear and flaws on them. So in hindsight, we should not have picked these up. We did disclose that and we priced them very, very low. I knew that somebody would still want them because, because they're Crocs and because they're Hello Kitty, but we had paid, I think, $2.50 for them, which is way too much considering the condition. And I think we didn't lose any money on them, but we didn't really make any money on them. They sold for $9.78 on offer to buyer. So that's not something that we would pick up again in that condition. Now, if they were in really good condition, definitely worth picking up because they would have fetched a much higher price. We just didn't feel right asking a higher price considering the amount of wear that was on them. And we shouldn't have paid that much for them in the first place. They were just not really worth it. I think we were just rushing. I think it was early in the morning. We were trying to get to the next sale and not paying attention as closely as we should have. Next up was a pair of jeans that belonged to my daughter. The brand was Total Girl. I'm not sure she even ever wore them. They had a tuxedo stripe down the side that was um, made of gold sequins. Uh, these sold for $12.78 on offer to buyer and we got positive feedback on those. Next up was a lot of four various foam floral arrangers. These I got in a big bag of different uh, crafting supplies at the thrift store. I had picked up that bag of crafting supplies because I saw that it had some creative memories items in it, which we've already sold. And um, I just listed everything that was inside that bag. And I haven't sold tons of the items in that bag. I picked it up for the Creative Memories and the Creative Memories sold, but not much of the other stuff has sold. Um, but these items surprisingly sold. They A lot of them were kind of dollar store level items, but um, they did sell for $10.38 on offer to buyer. And we had paid 
I said 15 cents per item for the items in that bag, but I do still have several items left to sell out of that bag, like some um, fake flowers and things like that. But I've definitely made my money from picking up that bag just from the Creative Memories items alone. So totally worth it. Next up was a pair of gold tone and green stone beetle shaped vintage earrings. These belong to me and I no longer wore them. They sold for our full asking price of $14.99. We got positive feedback on those. Next up was a pair of men's Crocs. They were thong style sandals. My husband picked these up at a garage sale. He paid $2 even and they sold on best offer for $30 even. Next up was another item from the Facebook marketplace, garbage bags of clothes. I swear that thing is the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, this one was a wine colored or maroon floppy, women's floppy sun hat. Um, it didn't really have a brand on it. Those items are always kind of hard to sell, but they will eventually sell just based on promoting them and people running across it or doing the search for other keyword items in the title. So keywords are really important when you don't have a brand. So the keywords that I used on this one were floppy sun hat, braided trim, you know, different things that somebody might be searching for. Um, it sold for $14.99, which was our full asking price, and we had paid just 67 cents for it. So some good profit on that one. Next up was an item that I picked up, not for the brand, but just for the style of it. And it was, uh, the brand was Drill Clothing. I, I'm not really sure where this is sold. I think it's either sold at Target or Walmart, somewhere like that. But um, they, always, they have a lot of like really heavily printed button down style shirts. And um, I've only ever picked up or had possession of a couple of different drill clothing items and they've both sold pretty quickly, just not for a, a high price, but they do seem to be popular. So when I was at a garage sale and I saw this item, I knew it would likely sell. I just didn't want to pay too much for it. I did end up paying $2.75 because we did a bulk deal at this particular garage sale. And um, this shirt sold for $15 even on best offer but it sold really, really fast. So that was still a great deal for us. We were happy with that. Next up was an item we got in the Goodwill bins. We got a huge stack of these Tannerite stickers. This is the first one that we've sold, but we only paid 67 cents a piece for them. We had um, broken down our cost per item as 67 cents and this one sold for $7.99. So these are moving slowly. We might eventually lot them all together and just sell them as a big bulk item. But so far, we're just gonna keep waiting and see if they start to pick up or maybe we'll promote them more heavily or maybe I'll change the price. We'll wait and see. They're not taking up any space, so we're not in any hurry to, to do anything major with them. Next up was a 1995 Pinnacle lapel pin or pin back of the baseball player Greg Maddox. This belonged to my husband. It sold for $19.98 on offer to buyer. We had this in our store for a really long time and it wasn't getting any movement. So I did end listing and sell similar and relisted it and it sold almost immediately. We did get positive feedback on this sale. Next up was one of the Bath and Body Works items that I had picked up at that garage sale. Um, when I picked up all of the retired bottles that, that that lady was selling. This one was Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, and this one was the Body Cream. It sold for $19.98 on offer to buyer, and I had paid $2.22 per bottle at this sale. And last was a 2020 Color Creatives Peaceful Patterns Adult Coloring Book. It was brand new, none of the pages were colored. It was in perfect condition. We found it in the Goodwill bins. We paid 92 cents for it and it sold for $11.99. This wasn't like a dollar store level adult coloring book. This was like a nicer one that you would get in like a bookstore or like in a, in a newspaper stand or something. This was a much nicer quality book. And last but not least, I always go over the collectible cards from my husband's personal collection. 
This week we sold 10 cards, but we sold some really high value cards. We did sell three higher value cards this week. I'll show you the highest value card on the screen here. And the total value of all the cards that we sold this week was $239.30. So pretty good week for us for both cards and for other types of items. Sales are definitely trending up. This was included the first day of July, and I looked back at our sales for July, and July was the second best month for us for 2022. So I'm excited to share some upcoming What Sold videos with you to show you how well sales have been going, because they've been going really, really well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that we earned your subscription today. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the like button and we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.